The music you choose for your podcast is an essential part of ensuring it stands out. And in this video, we'll explore the best websites for getting your royalty free music for your podcast that will enhance your podcast without breaking the bank. Your choice of music helps set the tone for the episode that your listeners are about to enjoy. And it also adds some sonic branding, which helps cement your brand in your listeners mind. But using copyrighted music can land you in hot water. You can end up having your podcast removed from the platforms, you can get flags and demonetization problems on YouTube, and it's just not worth it. Royalty free music avoids these issues, and I've narrowed it down to my favorite paid and free option based on all the ones that we've used with our clients. But just make sure that you always check the license terms, the terms of use, what you can use the music for. It's important to read through the license for your particular piece of music and not just take anyone's word for it. I've seen multiple times on the internet people recommending Ben Sound for music for your podcast, but it literally says on their website, you cannot use their music for audio only projects like podcasts. So just be sure to check the licenses. So our pick for the best royalty free music website at the moment is premiumbeat.com. Out of the many that I've tested, this is the one that I've stuck with that we use for our clients for their intros and outros. The reason for this is that it ticks all three main boxes, the ease of use and the licensing, the cost, and also the quality of the music. It's effortless to find music in any genre, and there's some really high quality stuff on there that sounds like it's been recorded with real instruments and vocals and things. A lot of these websites you'll find sounding really cheesy, not like using MIDI instruments, so digitized versions of instruments rather than the real thing or they sound really kind of clinical and corporate stuff that you wouldn't really want in your podcast if you want it to stand out but one thing i find really sets premium beat apart is that it has a really simple licensing structure with a single price for each song rather than a subscription model and it's really quite reasonable there are some other websites like invato and pond5 i believe that do offer single price so you just pay once and you download the music and you can use it for one project indefinitely but I find that with the varying sort of prices of the songs on there it's quite difficult to find anything good and reasonable priced because they, they tend to be flooded with poor quality stuff as well if you're looking in the lower price range that are the five ten dollars stuff on there and you're going to end up spending more anyway if you want something good. It also provides you with the stems so you can cut things up as you want. So you can remove the drums, remove certain aspects, like if there's vocal stings in the song that you don't want in there because you're gonna be speaking over it, you can remove those. It gives you like long and short versions. Some other providers do give you this, some don't. I've had clients before come to me and they send their song over that they've bought from another website and I say, do you have the stems for this so I can sort of adjust things? And they say, no, that's all they got. They just got the full song so for the price you pay on premium beat i'm really pleased with the amount of content you actually get you can also listen through to any song before you buy obviously they are watermarked if you have an account on there they do give you a coupon code so that if, if anyone uses that coupon code they get 25 percent off their first purchase and you get some credit to put towards new songs so i have left my coupon code in the description if you do decide to give it a go now this one-off price licensing structure is really useful especially if you only are buying one song but if you want to use lots of songs for lots of different things like you've got a YouTube channel and you want different backing tracks for each episode then a subscription service might you might find it more useful if you like using subscription services personally I try and avoid them if possible but if you want the flexibility and don't want to have to worry about buying each new piece of music that you want to use if you're going to be using lots of music then another recommendation is Epidemic Sound they have some really high quality music on there you can buy some other songs as a single license but it does cost more but if you don't mind starting a subscription with them then there's some really high quality stuff on there premium beat also has its own subscription option as well if you prefer to go down that route but if you don't have any budget to spend money on the music for your podcast i want to recommend a free option as well pixabay is known for providing user created royalty free photos and videos but they also provide royalty free music tracks and there are hundreds of high quality music tracks on pixabay again there are other sites and i'll leave a link in the description below to some other options if this one doesn't fit your needs uh, but i find that they have they are normally flooded with a lot of low quality sort of corporate and midi sounding music like i mentioned before 
Whereas on Pixabay, I found that you can get some pretty high quality stuff. Just be aware that a lot of the tracks listed on there are listed under YouTube's copyright ID system. You'll see a little shield icon next to the track for the ones that are. And what this means is that if you post your podcast episodes on YouTube with that piece of music in, you may find that it gets demonetized. However, there are plenty of songs on Pixabay that don't have that content ID badge. So Pixabay is a great option for no cost and royalty free music. Now, if you are putting your podcast episodes on YouTube, you might want to avoid using any of these services and put together a kind of YouTube friendly intro and outro using music from YouTube's audio library. YouTube's audio library has a bunch of music that YouTubers can use for their videos that according to YouTube is guaranteed to avoid any copyright issues. Some of it does require attribution, but you can still use it. You just need to put a little note in your description. This is what I do for my podcast. Personally, I have a specific YouTube intro and outro that uses uh, YouTube audio library music. I do have the license for the music that I use on my audio only podcast, of course, but just to play it safe and to keep things simple, I use YouTube audio library music only on YouTube. So these are my recommendations for finding the best royalty free music for your podcast. Obviously, there are a ton of other options. I just wanted to try and keep this simple so rather than listing, you know, 10 to 20 different options. And then you still have to go through and and scour them. But if any of the options that I've suggested today don't really fit your needs, then there are plenty more offerings. Again, just make sure you look at the up to date terms of use, the license agreement for any song that you download. And let me know in the comments below if if you happen to find a piece of music that works for your podcast, let me know where you've found it. Let me know which service worked for you. And for more podcasting tips and tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.